Ain't No Half Stepping with Marcus J. Live from the Den. Legacy Internet Radio. We appreciate everybody who is listening to us, who has been continuing to listen to us throughout the entire show. We had a lot of feedback. We had a lot of people who have been checking in with us throughout the show, and we appreciate you guys who have been supporting us throughout the the night, who've been supporting us throughout the year. I have my individual rant and my individual closing as we get later on into the show. But before I do that, I want to pass the mic around, as I mentioned before, like a blunt at a rap concert. Yeah. So I want to give everybody an opportunity to say their final words. And so uh, it's really a matter of where the mics are. So that's uh, why uh, Brother Jay, uh, get our special guest in first. Let's get our, our special guest row in here first. Uh, you're going you gonna to lead it off, man, because you got an ugly shirt on. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a New York football Giants fan. My team is terrible. We're not going to the playoffs. You have a better chance than I yes. am. I just disarmed it. Whatever you was getting ready to say to me. <laughs> yeah. My brother, what you got, man? It's good to see you, man. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you know, it's been it's been an honor to have you. Thank you, man. Thank you. I go back to Dr. May. Good friend, uh right here. She go. She's a she's a, a Steelers fan, so I am a Bengals fan. So I made a bet with her that we, with the Steelers beat the Bengals that I will sing black and yellow for her. Oh, now boy. we got down to the radio show. So now I'm here to sing black and yellow. In my, my Bengals jersey, by the way, if you're my Cincinnati, my, my Bengals jersey on. So I'm going to give you the hook, okay? I'm going to give you the hook, okay? So it goes. Uh-huh. You know what it is. Everything I do, I do it big. Uh-huh. Treatment, that's nothing. When I pull off the lot, that's stunting. Every time when I see me in the city, I go black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. I don't. I really don't. It's, this, is hurting my, this is hurting my heart to sing a song for the Steelers right now. You like but it is what it is. When I pull off the lot, that's starting. Rep my town when you see me, you know everything. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. I put it down from my whip to my diamonds. I'm in black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. That's it. No more of that still. No more. No more. No more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll take hey, look, that. <laughs> you, 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 my brother, are a good sport. You're a good sport, brother. You're a good sport. You're a good sport. Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. Live from the den. Legacy. Internet radio, what you got, sis? It's time well, for you to Neek. grab the mic. This is Neek, Neek, Neek. Thank you for having me in the den. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I'm blessed because I'm a new grandmother. Oh, word. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. yes. Well, let me tell you, this gonna- grandmother, the next time she see 35, it'll be 53. Say word. So, yeah. Well, um, Evan Marshall was born on December the 11th at three pounds, nine ounces, Wow! 32 weeks. So he was early, Yeah. but God is good. So he is healthy and he'll be coming home New Year's Eve. Guys. Say word, say so word. So keep my baby in your prayers. Say word. Baby, your baby's fine. Baby's fine. So happy to hear that. Congratulations thank you. Thank, to you. Thank you. Congratulations to your family. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. We know that you've called in in the past, and so it's definitely a blessing to see you in the den, to see your smiling face here, to hear your 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 story about your family. Thank that you. makes me happy, makes my heart sing. And so I really, really hope that everything works out and that your grandbaby ends up being big and strong and knocking jokers out when it's time for him to knock a joker out. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Ain't no half-stepping. Will Marcus J. Live from the Den. Legacy Internet Radio D. D. What you got, girl? Neat. I just want to say Happy New Year. That was that was all inspiring. Yes. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, no rant, really. The only thing I have to say to people who've been um, frowning at me is when I say Happy Holidays, accept it for what it is. Um, do I have to say Merry Christmas? No. Am I going to say Merry Christmas? No, I'm going to say Happy Holidays. That's my rant. That's it. Oh, and and I had a good time tonight. It was fun doing something that wasn't so serious. Um, yeah. 
I don't know if I could do it all the time, but uh, you want some more serious? I like serious, but yeah. this was this was off the charts I, I tonight. This is off the. I had fun. No, man. I've been uh, nice on the serious topics, so um, tonight yeah. I was not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all night long with you, Big Brother Joe comes back and got me misbehaving. But um, anyway, happy holidays. Um, and happy new year if I don't see you guys again this year anyway. You got it. That's it. Ain't no hashtag with Marcus. Your big sis did her damn thing and so did Big Groove. So definitely glad for them to take the show over. And, you know, because, you know, I got a tendency to be a little bit serious, but it is what it is. Our brother Jay, it's so good to see this brother, man. We ain't had him in the den in a couple of weeks, man. It's good to see you over there. We didn't hear much from no you doubt. tonight, but your presence has more than been felt. You've been walking around with the camera, snapping photos, <laughs> making sure that the night has been documented. And so even though folks may not have heard you, the folks in the room certainly know that you're here. And so we love you, brother, man. It's good to see you back. It's time for you to jump in here. I just want y'all to know I got video, too. Oh, okay. Just, yeah, I just think I was snapping pictures, but I took some video, too. You got no consent for I ain't scared. I ain't scared. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't scared. You scared? I ain't scared. I'm scared. You scared? Oh, Lord. Oh, y'all Lord. lucky my battery went dead on that oh, last yes. um, 12 days of Christmas. Oh. I know, but I'm still new to the whole um, photography thing. But um, what I want to um, say right now, I want to give my condolences right now to um, – Xavier Dotson and his family. That's the 15 year old kid in Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, a gang shooting broke out and he shielded three girls and he got hit shielding the three girls. Peace. So I definitely um, want to get condolences to his family. And I also want to give condolences to the family of the 12 year old girl here in our city, Richmond, Virginia, who got killed, um, I think it was last night. So I um, goes to say that, you know, I want everybody, you know, during this holiday season, you know, just, you know, get with your family and your friends. Tell them, you know, you love them, you know, because you, you never know. I mean, any day we could be gone, you know. So, you know, don't hold grudges. Don't go to bed mad and all that stuff. And that's my rant for the day, Mr. 3375. You got it. Ain't no high stepping with Marcus J. Live from the Den. Legacy Internet Radio. We had a couple of hits that I needed to get in. Our brother, Hakeem. He's still listening to us. He's been listening to us for the duration of the night. He's uh, alluding back to when we talked about 12 Days of Christmas, when we freestyled that joint. He said, just keep them girls a twerking. (laughs) Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Our brother, our brother Lumsy is listening to us tonight. He's been listening to us a lot lately. So we got a lot of love for our brother Lumsy. Of course, we mentioned said earlier Tonight, we'll make sure that we get all our thank yous in to the show as we progress. This is our sister, man. It's so good to have her. It's her second, here, second time here with us in the den. She is our clairvoyant medium. She is our sister, Shana Latia. What's up, girl? It's time for you to close it out with your rant and your closing. What um, you got? I really don't have a rant. I just want to say thank you to everybody who support me. Um, I never even thought that this would get this big or anybody would ever pay attention to me. I'm just still in awe over everything. I'm just so happy and so grateful to be able to read people and to be able to help them um, with anything. You know, I'm just grateful. I'm excited. I also work at the Kroger Spot as a bartender. You can always come see me. I make Long Islands, Long Islands, um, Long Beach. Um, Anything, you know, wah la las. Yes. You know, I'm, I am the bartender extraordinaire. Yes, yes, sir. I have more than one job. I also do yeah. taxes, so call me. Yes, sir. We need it. <laughs> hey, look, y'all need to holler at our sister Shana for real. We ain't, my it, hustler for real. We endorsing them, but we definitely endorsing her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't no half stepping with Marcus. They drink J. my wah las. Yes, we do. And yeah, we stumble out too when we drink them. Big Bro Joe. Floor is yours, my brother. It's time for you to close it out with your rent. You're closing. What you got? I'm going to do this here. And you know me. I get serious, but then I get lighthearted. But for the family here, you know, it's a blessing always to be around my people, to sit there and say, hey, 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 yo, S.Y., 
Good to see Yo, you, baby. I know I miss you. Yo, you bad back having sexy thing, you. I swear for goodness it's good to see you in a den. You <laughs> flattering. Yeah, I know. It gets you everywhere. Yo, Big Rude. Big dog. You know, even though you wear that raggedy maroon and yellow, I love you, son. Yo, we're going to get the... <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is of the NFC East for 2015. He officially made it awkward. He just got it. <laughs> All right. But you know what? I sit in, I look around, and I see Marcus J, and I see I see my my brother from another mother and some other people's. Yo, Didi, we've been together for a long time, right? Yo, I got some new fam in the building, though. Namasta. <laughs> Y'all don't know what that is, do it. I know what namasta is. I know you I do. Meditate every day. Ah, uh, <laughs> 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 <What? laughs> Yo, my girl need. Yo, my 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 new dude. You know, I like that cat, even though he wearing that raggedy orange and he looking like the great pumpkin Charlie. They're <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but real truth, real truth, real truth. Blessings comes to people who actually take the time out to sit there and understand that, guess what? We're not perfect, and we do the things that we need to do to make sure that we get to a better place. This year was a, it was, was, was a rough year, and you know what? We want to sit there and make sure that 2016 is a better year. So you know what? Take time out. Think about what you're doing before you do it. And, yo, Marcus J., my dude, always. Peace, man. Ain't no half-stepping. With Marcus J. Live from the Den of Legacy Internet Radio. I appreciate everybody. I have my word uh, as we progress through the night. But we've heard from every single person in the room except for two. I got to hear from my big sis and I got to hear from Big Rube. Big Rube, it's time for you to grab the mic. And it's time for you to do what you do and ask Smash him. It's time for you to smash, big bro. What you got, brother? Well, since everybody was giving thanks to everybody, that's very cool. I'm not. I'm a complain. Shocker. Because, you know, <laughs> it's not even really complaining, but it is. You know, as we saw some things, you know, yesterday in football, I, I have questions. I don't understand. I'm not talking about Odell Beckham Jr. You know, he's already proven that he's got issues, and he'll deal with those at another time. However, I'm talking about a team. I'm talking about a team who clearly has lost their mind, a team who is clearly not in the same mental state as everybody else. And for some reason, they get shellacked yesterday. And they already talking junk about Saturday. Come on, Eagles. I mean, how are you going to get beat down by the Cardinals? How are you going to be down 31-10, you score a touchdown, and your boy Jordan Matthews is going to dance like he, like he on Dancing with the Stars and won something? He looking like, uh, what's that girl? A fool. Uh, I don't know. And hey, then, Mark. on top of all that, after you finish getting beat down, I think it was 38-17. The score, really, I don't care about because they lost. At home, by the way, on national television, on NBC, after they flexed your game on national TV, the inside linebacker, Michael Kendricks, who, they, excuse me, they lost 40-17. to 17. Let me, 23 points. You guys smacked about 23 points. And you could talk junk about the NFC Championship game on Saturday? Hold on, dog. First of all, you just got beat down by Arizona Cardinals. You got embarrassed on national TV. And now on Saturday night on national TV again, you want to get embarrassed one more time. So, you know, basically it's just like I'm trying to figure out how things work because – when you talk junk, like, you're supposed to actually, like, win to talk junk. That's how you get the privilege of talking junk, because you beat somebody, Ooh, you know, but you don't. And then on top of all that, just in case you didn't know, the Redskins already beat these, these wingless eagles 
earlier season. So we just smacked this, this crew already once. And he has a nerve to say, quote, I mean, if I know this team and I know myself and the guys in here, man, that's already a run on sentence. Education is his strong point. The Redskins have something coming for them. For real. That's real shit. That's all I have to say about that, unquote. You know, they put crap in here, but he, he said shit. Hold on, dog. You just got beat by 23 points on national TV. You know what we got coming for us? An uh, NFC East title. That's what we got coming for us. And we're going to do it in your own house. Dallas fan don't talk. Y'all mathematically eliminated. Whatever. How are you going to talk junk? After you, it'd be different if you just beat somebody. Say a rant, man. I don't understand how people get the privilege to talk junk when they ain't beat nobody. You look like Carolina last year. But you know what? I'm the Redskins this year. I mean, Losers. we're number one on the East. I mean, I'm not going to even get into that fact because everybody knows. Even Steve Hardy, Harvey was wrong about the way the NFC East being the uh, Cowboys. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, if you're going to talk junk, you talk junk after a win. You talk junk against a rival. You talk junk against somebody who cares. You, you don't give game. people ammunition to beat you up again with. And that's what this fool has done. Who's going to be the quarterback for the Eagles this Saturday? Who knows? Who knows? We don't even know who's going to start a running back. Whedon. We can give him a better chance than everybody else. But I say that to say this. People, look. Don't talk that junk unless you got reasons. And when you talk that junk, as SY's friend has understood, <laughs> when you lose, you got to back that up. Black and yellow, black and yellow. And I bring that to say this. A couple years ago, it's probably been, what, three years ago, Marcus J., when me and another certain former cast member had a, had a bet. It was a Redskins-Dallas bet, and the Redskins were terrible, and Dallas was good. And Dallas lost, and he had to win. He had to wear my jersey throughout the whole show, and every time we took a picture, he covered it up because he didn't want to be the Dallas fan who was dumb enough to make a Redskins bet that he couldn't go through with. Look, don't talk it if you can't back it. Props to my brother over here who backed it up. He 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 made a. A pledge. He thought his boys gonna win. They got destroyed, and he's here singing about black and yellow. Hey, I mean, you know, it is what it is. The Cowboys, twenty sixteen, might be a year, probably not. But hey, look forward to that. Ruben, I'm I looking forward right to now, an NFC East championship. I'm looking forward to an NFC East championship on Saturday on I national bet you TV. On the air. If the Redskins win against Dallas, I'll put your jersey on. But nah, naked. man, you might be bigger than my jersey. No, nah, definitely not. Not buck naked. I will no wear Lord. it with a pair of uh, nah. speedos. See, that's not that's not entertaining to me. <laughs> it's not entertaining to me. But I put those hey, speedos in the jersey. Everybody else, be good out there. Be safe. Just don't be stupid. Peace out. Smash. Ain't no house stepping with Marcus J. Live from the den. Legacy in that radio, keeping it moving. Big sis, it's time for you to close it out. Tell the, ro- the the world in the room why you are in fact a grown Come here. woman. Yes, you do. Yeah, you go. This, All right. This is your song. Happy holidays, everyone. Thank you so much for having. Fun. It was fun tonight, y'all. And I just love when everybody just pitched in singing the 12 days of Christmas. That was so cool. Hakeem, I got a bone to pick with you about the twerking. We'll discuss that, okay? Uh, you know, big up, Ro, for coming in and shaming yourself in that god-awful thing you got on there. But, Michelle K., I hope you heard that, girl. But anyway, guys, listen. It's... You know, the normal, like my brother Marcus said, it's the normal Christmas thing. Y'all know Monday's coming, and I promise music. So I'm going to do music Monday. But now, be careful what you ask for, because it's not going to be rap music. There's no rap music in it. 
So I hope that you have a wonderful holiday, however you celebrate it. I hope it's fantastic. And I will see you then. Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. Live from the Den Legacy Internet Radio. We appreciate everybody who has been listening to us tonight throughout the show. We appreciate those folks that have been listening to us on TuneIn and on Streamer who are listening to the replays right now on YouTube as well as on iTunes. Special, special thank you to the folks who checked in with us tonight. We had Sharice uh, listen to us. Sharonda listened to us. Our brother K-Dub was checking in. Kaz. Hakeem, Michelle K, Michael said, LaFonda, uh, Michael Freeman, Bissett, uh, Lumsey, uh, Kirsa was listening, Tony was listening to us, of course, and uh, comedian S. Lisa P, First Lady of Legacy Internet Radio, checked in, was in the building. Special, special thank you to everybody who was, uh, was actually here. Uh, so a special thank you to our brother Ro, special thank you to our sister Neek, special thank you to our brother Jay. Big Rube, our sister Shana was here. Of course, uh, Dee Dee is here, and the co-host of the show, S.Y. Butler, is in the building. And our big bro, Joe, you can't forget this, brother. He's throwing his hands up at me. I, I can't forget you. I, you ain't got to throw your hands up at me. I, I, I see you over there. You, you, we can't miss you. As I do at this time of the show every single week, I always profile a missing and or exploited child. This week is no different. We're looking for Deja Judge. She's missing from uh, the Tidewater area from December 13, 2015. She's a 15-year-old black female. She stands 5'3", weighs 110 pounds. She's got black hair, brown eyes. Uh, she was wearing a red shirt, black leggings, and carrying a Mickey Mouse book bag when she was last seen. If you have seen her, please contact the... Police Department at 757-664-7070 or contact the National Center for Missing and or Exploited Children on their website, missingkids.com, or contact them by phone at 1-800-THE-LOST, 1-800-843-5678. As we do at this point of the show, every single week, I always close it out with my rant and my closing. Uh, The one thing that I have been kind of talking about every single week has always been kind of a running thing with me is group economics, making sure that we as a community take care of each other and remember that the basically the way out of the malaise that we're in is to take care of each other. So take a look at www.truthfightersministries.com and figure out with us how you can be a part of the solution instead of part of the problem. Uh, I'll leave that kind of there. The last thing I kind of want to share with the listeners as well as the crew is our thank yous, my thank yous for a fabulous year. Uh, We know we have one more show, one more week to go before the end of 2015, but we've got a full house in here tonight. And so I want to take this opportunity to thank the folks who have been rocking with us for the entire time that we've had legacy internet radio as well as for the folks who have joined legacy internet radio in the year of 2015 uh it's because you guys are a part of this is the reason why i can continue running this so i want to have you guys feel my heartfelt thank you uh it is something that is very very important and personal to me uh legacy internet radio of course has been something that has been a vision of mine, a vision of Big Rubes, and without you guys, we could not do it. And so on behalf of Big Rube, on behalf of Ain't No Half Stepping with Marcus J, and on behalf of Legacy and Net Radio, I want to say thank you to the folks in the room. I want to say thank you to the folks who have joined us in studio throughout 2015. And I want to say thank you to the folks who have been listening to us on the radio here in Richmond, Virginia, in Jersey City, New Jersey, in Atlanta, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, in Florida, in California, in Indianapolis.